The Astroc B450 Steel Legend offers a unique take on the mid-range AMD B450 chipset, sporting a digital camouflage applied directly on the PCB as its main design element. And of course, plenty of RGB integration overall. All these elements are available at an affordable price of 100 US dollars on average. Starting with the packaging, the motherboard is protected by soft foam on the edges and on the underside. This type of protection is often found on the expensive high-end motherboards, so we are already at a good start. In terms of the accessories, the bundle is adequate, with the metallic IO shield also sporting that digital camouflage as the motherboard. We have also a DVD with all the drivers, a small case badge that sports the ASRock logo, two black SATA cables, two screws for the SATA M.2 SSDs and one standoff for the same SSD. So nothing really unusual or not useful. The design of the motherboard is very important on today's market even though it shouldn't, but hey, what can you do? So, the new digital camo pattern that is applied directly on the PCB of this motherboard is certainly unique in itself and it is actually a working camouflage as my camera has focus issues on those areas, so yes, it camouflages. Bonus points for ASRock there. While I would like to show you the VRM chips that are under these two aluminum heatsinks, truth be told, I can't. You see, these heatsinks are held in place by two screws each, so four screws in total, but two of these screws, one per heatsink, are impossible to remove, because, as it appears, at the factory someone applied too much thread locker on the screws, and trust me, I tried everything to get those things off, raining, two screwdrivers and almost having a metal breakdown, before I decided to stop. Why? Well, because there are of course some methods I didn't try, however, some things are better left alone, really. However, this is just a small inconvenience, as we already know what VRM is being used on this board. The ASRock B450 Steel Legend uses Sinopower made SM4337 MOSFETs and 60 amp chokes, all this in a 4 plus 2 phase design. Speaking of phases, the actual phase controller is the already well-known UP9505P manufactured by UPI Semiconductor. We will come back to the VRM during our testing segment, but right now, let's move on with the other features of this board, starting with the integrated audio system, which has as its centerpiece the Realtek ALC892 chip, which truth be told, is not the newest nor the best in the series, but it performs great. In fact, not many people will notice a difference between the ALC892 or the newer ALC1220. Paired with this chip are of course four Nichicon made electrolytic audio capacitors which are also part of the Fine Gold series. As is a standard, the audio system is isolated from the rest of the PCB elements to reduce interference and increase the overall quality of the sound. In terms of fast storage, the B450 Steel Legend is equipped with two SATA M.2 slots for PCIe M.2 SSDs. The first one is located under the CPU socket as always and is covered by a pre-installed heatsink to dissipate the heat. The second M.2 slot is placed below the chipset heatsink and above the lower edge of the motherboard. The standard storage solution on the Steel Legend is composed out of six SATA 3 connectors. These are not stacked but are placed one next to each other. They also support RAID 0, RAID 1 and RAID 10. Two of these SATA ports are controlled by the AS Media chip installed. While being a mid-range motherboard, the B450 Steel Legend has features often found on higher priced boards. Features such as a metal reinforced PCIe Express slot, in this case the main 16 slot. How much does this metal reinforcement actually help with the structural integrity of the slot? is to be discussed, but it does aid with the overall looks of the motherboard. The IO panel connectivity is pretty much standard at this point, with 4 USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, 2 standard USB 2.0 ports, 1 HDMI and 1 display port. This motherboard also features a single USB Type-C port and a single USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-A port. Last but not least, we have the RGB elements on this affordable motherboard, and these are plentiful. First of all, the B450 Steel Legend has both standard 4-pin RGB headers and also a single 3-pin addressable RGB connector, with the LEDs placed around the chipset heatsink and inside the plastic cover of the I.O. panel. The BIOS interface used on the B450 Steel Legend is identical with the one used on other ASRock motherboards, such as the ASRock X470 Master SLI. There is no easy mode page available or a dedicated mode for beginner users. Still speaking of the BIOS, this motherboard has only a single BIOS chip installed, which is also directly attached to the PCB, making the replacement that much harder. But it is however a trend that we are going to see lately with the BIOS chips. Now we can finally move on with the performance of this motherboard. Starting with the VRM temperatures. 
when gaming and with an ambient temperature of 27 degrees Celsius, the VRM heatsinks were heating up to 70 degrees Celsius. Measuring this was done using an external sensor, touching the heatsink. However, when overclocking the Ryzen 7 1700X CPU, the temperature were as high as 90 degrees Celsius. This was to be expected, as these heatsinks are neither big or have a plenty of fins to dissipate all the heat. The easiest way to fix this is by using a top-down flow CPU cooler that will provide with direct airflow to the VRM area. The gaming performance is good, starting with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, the B450 Steel Legend is right between other AMD motherboards and of course, there are a lot of variables when we speak about gaming performance on a motherboard. Power delivery, express lane speeds and just the overall quality of the chips used on the board. Nevertheless, the B450 Steel Legend is doing good so far and now we can move on to the GTA 5 benchmark. GTA 5, while it is not really a new game, it is still being heavily played and it does rely on the CPU power to deliver a smooth gaming experience. In our graph, you can see that the Steel Legend is pretty much 10 frames per second behind the X470 Tai Chi Ultimate motherboard, a thing to be expected given the differences between the two boards. However, the performance is still great for the little Steel Legend. With a price of 100 US dollars or euros, the ASRock B450 Steel Legend is certainly affordable and has plenty of features to make it worth buying. The overall design can be a hit or miss, but that is subjective to you. This board also has both standard and addressable RGB headers and tastefully placed LEDs around the chipset heatsink and the I.O. cover. The overall performance is good and the build quality is great. In fact, the only plastic element present on this board is the I.O. cover. The B450 Steel Legend is also equipped with two SATA M.2 SSD slots. One is also covered by a pre-installed heatsink. The biggest drawback of this motherboard is, however, the VRM heatsinks. The two heatsinks are not only not big enough, but also lack the fins to properly cool the VRM components. This can always be fixed by installing a fan facing the CPU area of the motherboard or using a top-down flow CPU cooler. Also, I hit 90 degrees Celsius on the VRM components when I was trying to overclock my Ryzen 1700X. However, when gaming, the VRM barely reached 70 degrees Celsius. Everything considered, this is a good budget motherboard that offers plenty of features and a good performance overall. The design is certainly unique and the build quality is very good. For its current price, it is ideal for a budget gaming system, with some RGB elements added in. If you like this review, perhaps you will consider subscribing for more and also, please leave some feedback in the comments section.